everybody. I have a really good um, crock pot recipe I want to make for you today. It's um, chicken and stuffing. It's really simple. It doesn't take a lot of ingredients and it's just a really, uh, in my opinion, delicious uh, entree. But before I get started with that, I wanted to show you three um, kitchen uh, tools or whatever you want to call it that I've come across recently. None of these are sponsored. They're all ones that I just ordered and paid for and um, really like and I wanted to share with you. So the first thing is I was thinking seriously about getting a Keurig because um, at, at uh, the first of the morning, we make a big, uh, it's 10 or 12, I think 10 cups of coffee. And uh, with our big cups, that's less than 10 cups. But anyway, then throughout the day, sometimes we want a cup of coffee and a Keurig would be great, but I kept looking at them and um, as you know, I'm cheap and I try to find the best deal I can on anything I buy. And so I thought, well, I'll go to Ollie's, <clears throat> O-L-L-I-E-S, Ollie's, because I feel like if they have them, they'll be real cheap. So I went and they didn't have the Keurig, but they had something that I felt probably would work even better. And so it's by Kitchen Selectives and it's this, and it's a single cup reservoir, reservoir, and you just, it has this reusable basket. You just put your whatever amount of coffee you use and you put your water in here. Close it up and put your cup here. And somewhere you mash it or do whatever you do. My husband will have to tell me. But anyway, <clears throat> you get your cup of coffee. And so it's just like using a Keurig, except without the little pods. And this was $12.99, which is a big savings from buying a Keurig. So if you're in the market for a Keurig, maybe you'd like to think about getting this and making your one cups this way. So I was real tickled to get that. And the next thing I got, um, there are several things in life I just really hate doing. I hate vacuuming, I hate filling ice cube trays, and I hate boiling pasta. And I don't know why I hate boiling pasta, I just really do. So I came across this. Um, let me take this out. I came across this, it's the pasta perfect and so what you do is you put your pasta in this container you can break it up if you want to you put a pound at a time then you take this which is the strainer and you put it on top and um I'm trying to see the best way. It just, you just push it down and it snaps kind of into place. And then on top of it, you just put your little lid and that's it. And when you, it gives you a booklet to tell you how long you let your different pastas cook in here. You can also do stuff like hot dogs and other types of food, but all I'm going to use it for is for the pasta. And when you're done, you take this off, turn it upside down, let your pasta drain, and then take this off 
and pour your pasta in your plates or bowl or however you want to do it. Also, when uh, your pasta is sitting there for however many minutes, you this has a little warming jacket thing and you just put it on and it helps keep your uh, water hot. And you can temper this with hot water first if you want to, but you don't have to. So I was so glad to find this there. I didn't have it on quite all the way. So I can now do my pasta this way and I feel like I want to cook pasta even if I don't need any because it just seems like it would be fun. And then the next thing, y'all know how, excuse me, my breathing's a little off today. Y'all know how I have a, a fetish about spice jars and things like that. And the last ones I got were these. And in the comments, when I showed these, someone had said something about how they close up here wasn't very good. And they were right, they don't close good. And I noticed a lot of my spices getting real hard. Even though you think you have this close good, it's not. So, I ordered these from Amazon and I know I'm a little extreme with my um, spices but you know it keeps me off the street so um, I got these they come with the little uh, labels that you take off of a paper and put on here and then I bought some paint pens they sent chalk but I was afraid chalk would just rub off so I got the paint pens and they work perfectly with that and they have on the top the flip lids for spooning it or pouring it out and then the other one for um, just shaking it out so these are the things that I have gotten recently and um, if I can think, I will link what I can to um, my description. Now, the pasta thing, I did not see those at all on Amazon. And I got the only one that I saw on uh, eBay. But if I happen to, I'll go back and look. If I happen to see any, I'll link it. But... Now, I'm going to show you my last find, and uh, I can't even remember what happened. Somehow, I ruined my crock pot. I think I might have burnt the um, cord. There's no telling. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put you down so you can see what I have here. That I have a travel crock pot and so you know you can just pick it up and carry it put your spoon under here I'm not sure what that goes to it may go to this I'm not sure but you I'm not real familiar with this so I've not cooked in it yet And I got the arms down, but now I might have to mess, a min mess with it a minute to get the arms down again. I knew I should not have pulled those down. I, I feel like there's a certain spot I'm supposed to touch and it will just go right down like that. And you can take this off if you would like 
or keep it on your um, crock pot. So anyway, when you open it, there's what it looks like. So the recipe that I'm going to make today, uh, as I told you, is uh, chicken and stuffing, and it's just so simple. So let me pour off a little bit of this water. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take my chicken. I have four small breasts and I'm putting those down in the bottom of the crock pot. Let me uh, wash my hands real quick. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is season the chicken a little bit. So I'm gonna use some garlic salt and just sprinkle it. Then I'm gonna use some regular salt and sprinkle some of that over it. And then I'm gonna use some pepper. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take this stovetop stuff and it's turkey, but that's okay. They're all in the feather family. And I'm just gonna pour this on dry. Spread it around a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a can of cream of chicken soup. And I'm gonna pour it in my cup. And I've said before, I love to hear that plop. That is one of the small things in life that I love to hear. And I have a cup of water. You could use chicken broth if you wanted to. Wouldn't hurt a thing, but I feel like between the soup being chicken and the chicken in there. I feel like you really don't need any more chicken flavor. So now I'm stirring this up good. You need to get it stirred up pretty well. And I'm gonna pour it over the stuffing and that is it now I'm gonna close my crock pot I'm gonna put this back up and you know it'd probably help if I go ahead and plug it in which I thought I had done but it's got a retractable um, cord which I think is nice and so now I'm going to stretch in front of you okay I have it plugged in and it has warm, low, and high and I'm going to put this on high because I'm getting a late start today and I need it on high this is called the Nomad Traveling Slow Cooker. I'm not sure what this is. It's by Presto. I'm not sure if that does anything. Oh, I know what it does. They give you this pen, this um, erase, it's an erase board. And you just write on there 
what you're cooking. And I do write better than that. Um, I'm just gonna put chicken on there. And then when you're done, it's got a little eraser on it. So that's pretty nifty if you're at some event. So people aren't wondering what you have, you can write on there what it is and they'll know. So it's starting to fog up a little bit and we're just gonna let this cook. And when it's done, I will come back and we'll see how it did. Okay, y'all, the chicken and stuffing has finished cooking. And I'll go ahead and take you down and we will look in the pot or in the crock pot. And I did figure out, since I had to wrestle with this for a while, all you really have to do is pull that forward. Uh, there's no buttons to push or anything. And it fogged up my glasses. But this is what it looks like, if you can see. It looks really, really good. And so I'm going to dish up some. And what I'm gonna do is take some of this off the top and put it down. Okay, hold on. And then I'm gonna put some of the chicken over it. And there's a little dry spot there of the stuffing, but I'll just mix that up with some of the, the cooked stuffing. And there it is. I hope that the lighting's good enough you can see. It smells really good and it looks good. And I really enjoy chicken and stuffing. So I'm gonna enjoy having this. And uh, you couldn't ask for a simpler recipe. And as far as this goes, like I said, it's the first time I've used it, but I really like it. It's so simple to use. And I can imagine if I made something to take to a potluck, it would be so easy to take it in this uh, crock pot. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful evening and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.